Since the big FL Studio 21 update, Imageline introduced theming, which was kind of illegal before. You find yourself messing with these buttons, but you don't really know what you're doing. Thus, your themes look like this. But why is this? We'll come back to that later. First, open up a file and go to options. Then, of course, theme settings. Here you can find some presets. They are pretty cool, but that's not why you're here. If you want to know how to create awesome themes, you need to completely understand what these buttons do. Q stands for color or tint. With this knob, you can control the overall color of your theme. Saturation stands for how much color comes through. The more saturated something is, the more color you will see. If you turn this all the way down, there will be nothing more than black and white in the tint. And then the hue doesn't really matter. With a brightness control, you can adjust the brightness of the tint. This is used to create a dark or complete white theme. Contrast is an easy one. This will decide how much difference there is between the darks and the lights. If you turn this all the way down, your theme will look flat. This one does the same thing but only for text. You can use this to control the visibility. If you know how to use these colors, below, you can create some awesome themes. With a the selection color, you can adjust the selected items. For example, in the channel rack or in the playlist. With the highlighted control, you can adjust the colors on top. With the mute button, you can change the mute knobs. And with the option, you can change the colors of these checker boxes. If you want to change the colors of the steps in the channel rack, you can do that here. These are the odds and the evens. If you draw in a step, you can also see the color change there. The next one is my personal favorite. If you want the meter to turn red when the audio is clipping, simply change it here. You you can actually completely change the color of the meters to your personal liking. Enabling light mode will make hard to read stuff on your screen more visible. If you want to create a secondary version of your team, simply click B. Don't forget to save it as a preset and if you want, you can even put it online for other people to download. Awesome right? You can even download mine if you want. Now, I don't want you guys to feel left behind because there's so much more than, than teams to FL Studio 21. Go catch up on that right here. Subscribe! Gotta go now!